guys, it's me, the Arcana Angel. Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in to our sanctuary. I'm spirit led and cornbread fed. I am in the south, y'all. Namaste. I do recognize the divine in you. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for keeping up. This is one of my favorite set segments. This is one of my favorite segments to do for you guys. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people are interested in uh, love and money, but to me, this medication, meditation, and elevation helps us get to a higher place. Uh, I'm going to pull four cards from my Herbology deck. Um, the first card will be the situation. The second card will be the obstacle. Then we'll have the um, action recommended and the outcome, and we'll break it down. And remember, this is for everybody, so you have to listen to find the tidbit and the nuggets that are just for you. Don't try to force yourself into a situation that's not yours. Just be patient. Just be patient. And everything will work out. So we'll start by pulling from the herbology book and see what spirit have for us. Something's about to come in. Something being cracked wide open. That's what I'm hearing. So today is an eight day in numerology. We already know that success and decisions. It's decision time, y'all. I uh, just uploaded a quick video and it was all about a decision, kind of the masculine and the feminine mirroring each other. So hopefully this reading gives you a little bit more um, insight, helps us to be a little bit more efficient. That's what today is about, the energies of today. It's all about purpose and commitment and transformation. So, this is here. Show us what is the situation for the collective. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you comment and connect. We got to start fresh as the situation. Chickweed. And the first thing that I noticed is that it's the 17 on page um, 16. I'm sorry, it's the 7. You know, today the year is all about the 7. And then the moon phase today is actually 16%, which um, is a waning crescent, which is decreasing. The 16 decreases to the 7. 7 is all about business, balance, peace, and harmony. So that's a great thing, a fresh start, fresh balance, fresh harmony this year this is the year of the seven so that's awesome fresh start is the situation that's cool i love that and like i told you didn't i tell you this was for everybody all the zodiacs are represented so it might be time to take a closer look at something's got a magnifying glass so this year might be all about taking a closer look at something then for the obstacle, we got be yourself, Daisy. Wow. I can't believe that that's the obstacle, being yourself. But we have been talking about that a lot um, last year, about not conforming, right? Um, we talking about bridging the generational gap. So you're not going to do things exactly as everybody else did it. It's all about using what you know and finding a new way to do it to be your step self. Let's see the action recommended. You got three cards for action recommended. Something is definitely starting fresh. Uh, resurrection, rewild uh, is coming out. That's the journey. And then exuberant quietude. Seems like um, settling your mind down has something to do with it. And I'm not going to take out three of those. I'm going to put it back and see if we can add spirit to it. Let's narrow it down. The action. Spirit to matter. Be the great magician. The great alchemist. And be patient. 
although you can't see that it's working, things are definitely uh, working. And it's always in your favor. Remember, it's happening for you, not to you. And let's get a card for the outcome. Let it be great, Spirit. Please let it be great. And remember to subscribe because energies shift. That's why I come out when uh, I'm led to to give us a a closer look. Pay attention. The outcome is gonna pay attention. I feel like at the beginning it says start fresh, said to look closer, and I feel like the outcome is you're going to find out exactly what it is. You're going to know exactly what you need to know. And I feel like it's looking closer at yourself. Remember, I told you it's all about our purpose, our commitment. Transforming. As a collective, it's transforming, but personally, definitely things are transforming. Underlying energy, a spoonful of sugar. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. So let's see. I feel like once you see what you need to see, that that's what's going to uh, initiate the blessings, initiate the good stuff, initiate the stability, initiate the structure. Um, I feel like that's how you're going to gain control and actually be able to start something. Right? Having a clean slate. I mean, you got one, two, three ones out here. That's like looking at the bigger picture, right? But that's also being aware that everything that you want, love is on the way. Money is on the way. Whatever you're manifesting is definitely on the way. Remember, the action is just being patient while the divine do what it naturally does. I want to read a little bit, you know, that's what this um, section is all about. Like, we go deeper. It's just, it's intuitive, but we don't just lead to our own understanding, right? We like to break it down like a pound. Let's see. Let's see, page. Start fresh chickweed. Oh, Chickweed said, it's time welcoming you on your path. Not sure you're ready? Don't have any worries. It said, Chickweed reminds you that wherever you are is a fine place to start. So don't think it's too late for you. Don't think that all the good stuff is passed. Don't think that all the good men is dead or in jail. I mean... Even the ones that's in jail come home soon, but <laughs> I'm just saying, don't feel like it's over and all is lost. No, no, this is a good time to start where you are. That's the spirit is saying. You're in a great position for growth. Um, it said that she chips away at old ideas, opening you up to let in new things. That's what I said, bridging. We've been talking about that, bridging the generational gap. I just said, using the things from the past to create your future, right? Chick, we ask us a couple of questions. What's keeping you from making the changes you crave? See who you are without the burdens. See who you are without the burdens. What's keeping you from starting? What's keeping you from making the changes that you want to make? What's keeping you from being yourself? Because be yourself came out as the obstacle card. Like, it's something that you really want to do that you're not doing. It's the smallest things that make the big impact. And she, they gave us a meditation, a reflection, of course. 
it says look for the little stars it's easy to figure out the best way to move forward when spirit gives you big flashy stuff to go by but it said it's harder when the path seems mundane uninteresting but it says that chickweed reminds you to look for those small lights chickweed in latin means stellar which means little star what little stars are you ignoring as you search for floodlights and fireworks? What bright beginnings are moldering as you wish for something bigger? Is the trail unspooling at your feet while you have your eye on the distant horizon? The closer it says, look at the thing that's closest to you. You might be wanting something and it, the very thing that you want is right here right here in front of you right here in front of you let's pull let's clarify a little bit oh chick wait this fresh start this little start spirit can you tell us a little bit uh about these little stars that we might be missing get us on the right path please give us something to think about this situation, what is the situation? What is the situation, Spirit? What is the situation? Under my <laughs> Ace of Swords, seeing clearly, being decisive, underlying energy. Uh, situation we got the three of swords heartbreak disappointments like um you looking too much at what used to be and what woulda should please don't be a woulda shoulda coulda <coughs> please don't be a woulda shoulda coulda because we got the knight of wands and we got the ace of cups in reverse Woulda, shoulda, coulda. This is past energy that you're dwelling on. Right? The situation, right? You might have been heartbroken. Things might didn't turn out the way you thought they was going to do. You might didn't get the move that you thought you was going to get. You might didn't uh, go where you thought you was going. Take the trip that you thought you was taking. You, whatever action that you really had your heart desire on and it fell through. Like, you could have started a, a new romance, and it just didn't work out. You could have had health problems. Um, a lot of things, whatever it is for you, you know what that burden is. But that's what Spirit said, right? Release the burdens. What are you, What what what's keeping you from letting those burdens go? Holding on the four of pentacles. Holding on to pentacles or um, you either holding on to the bad times holding on to the missed uh, unrequited love like if this person didn't want you then why are you steady wanting them like what's keeping you from being yourself oh don't worry but we gonna break it down I'm gonna uh, help you find a little bit more I think this opened up a whole lot anyway just that's what Chickwe is saying. It's time for you to start fresh. It's time to let those things go. The four pinnacles. That's usually holding on, isolating yourself to keep the things that you thought you wanted, right? It's a lot of things. I feel like uh, a lot of y'all are holding on to things that you wanted to say. And you're not saying it. Especially with that three of... Um, Three of Swords, not wanting to hurt somebody's feelings. Thinking that if you said what you had to say, they go surely leave. They go surely, you go surely get fired. You go surely miss an opportunity. But you're not understanding that you are already in the middle, of, in the midst of missed opportunity. Just by not making the move, not taking a fresh start. Mundane, just being lackluster, 
not walking into your full uh, potential. So let's see, be yourself. Be yourself has came out on these uh, medication med. We a lot of these have came out. The only new one, new energy is the very first one. I mean, we get it from time to time, but not very often to start fresh. I feel like this the new year, all this stuff, be yourself, spirit into matter, and pay attention. We've been through that this year. Go back and check out that uh, medication, meditation, and meditation, uh, meditation, medication, elevation <laughs> playlist. Sometimes I get to talking a little too fast. Go check out that video I just uploaded because it was definitely, uh, I put it in, I sped it up so it wouldn't take so long because I really want you to get the message. Uh, listen to the end, right? You don't have to listen to it all at one time. You can definitely come back to this, right? You don't have to uh, rush. I always say that, don't rush. But let's see, Daisy is 20. 20 boils down to the two. It's something, um, you remember I was telling you that it's all about the smooth face today. It's all about peace and harmony. Well, being yourself, that's what causes peace for you. I think you're just saying, do what you want to do. Do what you like. Daisy come from a huge family. So you can have a big family too, uh, sisters, brothers, cousins, whatever, right? But um, it said Daisy's family is come. Daisy comes from a family of healers, and then it lists a couple of other um, herbs like chamomile, you know, milk thistle. But it said they're great healers. You could be great. You probably are a healer and don't even know it. Um, because it says be yourself and it's talking about coming from a family of healers. Like I was saying, bridging the generational gap. Do you know your history? Do you know the, uh, I know what we were talking about it uh, in church one time. Oh, the remedies, because my dad is 75 and um, the church that he ministers over, it's a lot of elderly people. So Spirit had led me to ask them, what did y'all used to do uh, <laughs> for home remedies? And I think the most absurd one was um, boiling dung. It's D-U-N-G. And uh, I forgot the minister, the superintendent, he said, uh, he said that he don't know if it worked or not. He said, but he know that boy came to school. And then my dad chimed in and said he probably didn't drink it. He would have came to school too, so he wouldn't have to drink it. He would have told him anything. He felt better, he, even if he didn't feel better. So make sure you ain't out there doing it, telling people you fine when you're not fine. <laughs> right? Because there's somebody that can help you. Or, or pay attention to the red flags when people, you know this person ain't fine. They still got 104 temperature. Quit lying and drink this stuff. <laughs> But anyway, but Daisy comes from a big family of healers. And I feel like that's the spirit is saying it's time to start fresh so you can heal yourself. So you can so you can be comfortable. Remember that ace of cups I told you. Somebody's definitely looking for a, his a healer. It says, Daisy persistently finds her way into our homes to remind us over and over again that loving ourselves is the best medicine. Daisy says, move towards your truth. Do you compare yourself to those around you? Remember, I said I talked about that. Remember, uh, thinking that everybody I already got all the good stuff. Yeah, all the good stuff has been picked. The best cause, the best... You know, everything that being people um, question yourself, comparing yourself, just even questioning yourself uh, how you look. I know I was definitely having an issue with that because I didn't have my lashes on and I wanted to hit y'all with the blink today. But I didn't get to hit y'all with the blink. Or blink or the, oh, I think it's a blink. I say blink, <laughs> but you know. But it says, when you are in competition with others, you're moving away from your truth and towards some artificial 
version of success. If no one were looking, who would you be? It says, how would you wear your hair? What would you eat? Where would you sleep? Dive deep into Daisy Madison and unearth your true self. Authenticity is the daily practice of letting go of who we think we are supposed to be and embracing who we are. And I like this flower, right? Because it's like, it's a snapshot of the days in the center, right? Pictures don't lie. Pictures is the mirror of the soul. So I feel like all those daisies that's going around is just personas depending on who you are, what group you in. And that's a great gift, but you can't lose facts of who you are. Like, the only person you should be in competition with is yourself. Be kind to yourself. If that stuff didn't work out, it's fine. You tried what you tried. It was time to try that. Remember, it's all a learning lesson. And when you go back and reflect on it, I'm pretty sure you go find all kinds of tidbits and, and thoughts and just revelations that you have because of the experience. And, and remember, forever is just as long as forever is. <laughs> So, let me pull and let's see. Get specific, spirit. How can we get specific when we're not feeling like ourselves? Uh, thank you for letting us know. Don't focus on nobody else. We are not in competition with nobody else. I just got into a, um, if you watch that reaction video with me and my daughter. Uh, did I post it as a free night? Because it was on that specific part. Like, I'm not in competition with nobody. I freely give away. Right? So, remember your worth. Seven of Swords. Uh, five of Swords. Yeah, you're not in competition. Lay your burdens down. Do what's best for you. Because that's what the Seven of Swords do. And this one is spirit. It's like a, a spiritual action. Because those those um, swords, that conflict is coming in the air. It made me feel like this is all in your head. In the New Year's video, it said, beware of all the illusions. Beware of illusions. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. You got the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Remember I told you that we're moving to the next card. It's the timing thing. You have experienced a lot. Those are your experiences, right? Make sure that you're looking at your experiences and not somebody else's experiences because those are illusions. Right, with the seven, seven is all about secrets and mysteries and, and being conscious collectively. So remember that to focus on your experiences, what do you want it to look like? Right? Don't be deceived. Knight of Swords, go with spirit and truth. With the high priestess, the Knight of Swords, go forward uh, and, and know that, look, you are the sage. I told you somebody's a healer out here. But go forward and know that you ain't different. You, you. Yeah, you, you. You have to move forward. It said move. Spirit's telling us to move. Be kind to yourself. Ace Wars is a mental trap. Feeling like you mentally trapped. But all you got to do is trust yourself, the high priest. Come into union collectively with yourself and, and move forward. That's when the sun looks. And the sun gonna come out. That's when the skull house gonna transform. Remember the things that you used to do as a youth that made you who you are, right? That's what's gonna balance it out with the justice card right here. And we got plantain twice. Remember plantain, that plantain energy uh, tried to come out at the beginning with the resurrection and the journey, right? This is your journey. The truth is, get on your journey and don't be distracted by nobody else's, right? Remember those things when you was a kid. What did you want to be when you grew up? It's still time. I'm 45. If I still want to be a psychiatrist, I can, right? I just don't want to go to the school, the system of it all when spirit give us everything that we need, right? I like the holistic way a little bit better. 
But anyway, let's move on to the action recommended. Okay, so let's get out. We, we passed it. Like, we passed that 120. Yes, once you realize the focus on your your uh, journey, your truth, your, yourself, and, and, and look at the little things that you need to tweak, make sure that you're doing it just how you want to do it, and you're being kind to yourself, and, and you're not worried about woulda, shoulda, coulda, houlda, or none of that. Good morning. America, right? Morning. America is about to go through a time of mourning because everybody is trying to be an avatar or something that they not be. Online, they dressing up all these filters. Try to go 30 days without using a filter. That's a test right there. That's the challenge. 30 days without using an avatar or a filter, right? Truly, I'm one. That's what's going to initiate. 120. Initiate. We're trying to come together in cooperation, in union. Because we got business to partnerships we want. We got uh, relationship partnerships uh, that we want. Uh, romantic partnerships that we want to meet. It's a lot of stuff that Spirit is trying to get to us. Spirit into matter. Nurture your new ideas. It's seed time, y'all. Do you expose your ideas to air and light too soon? Den denying them the womb time. Daydreams are like seeds. We have so many, but few take root. How do you breathe life into an idea and create a new way of being in the world? From inception, the new seed needs to be nurtured or it will dry up and wither so when you're contemplating a fresh idea give it some love so spirit is saying it's time to do what you want to do if, and we are creeping up on that new moon if you are wanting to start a business if you're wanting to create something if you're wanting to create a partnership if you wanted to free yourself and just switch states and go on another journey do something want a new car whatever it is that you want to do right spirit is saying when you get that idea jump on it right now when you get that fresh idea jump on it it's gonna be a sure victory sure victory <laughs> yeah straight straight card that's a sure victory yeah. and there's the ace of cups and the two of wands but the ace of cups is upright right now Plot, plan, and strategize. This is you putting your mind, putting your grind where your mind is. Put your mind where your grind is. Put your grind where your mind is. That's what that is. That's awesome. It's in the up right now. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Could dig message with the Knight of Coins. Something new. Might Some people might want to go to school. Learn what it says. Spirit said whatever the new idea is. Whatever it is. It's seed time. Anything on this two of one, this plot planning and strategizing we doing when we get this new idea, this new uh, inspiration with this page of cups and this two of ones. We got the chariot and the five. Go. Win or lose. Go. Cut off. Walk over. Whatever you need to do. Go. Right. Go forward. And then spirit didn't even say go forward. In uh, peace, he said the completion of cycles is ending, right? That is peace. So go forward and peace by the end. Yes, go forward so you can grow. It's some things that you definitely gonna have to move past so that you can grow. It's seed time. They say once you get that idea, to jump on it and pay attention. Never, never say pay attention. That's how the blessing. Don't miss your bless. It's right. Pay attention. Don't miss your blessings. Don't miss the new start. Don't new, miss the new success and whatever your endeavor is. Pay attention. There's two cards of pay attention. Right? Don't don't um 
put everything in one group. It said look for the little stuff. It said nettle reminds you to see individually and treat the world around you accordingly. If nettle is pricking you, pause and pay greater attention. That was one of the energies. Remember the waning crescent uh, energy is slowing down. Uh, that means that you get time to think more, that you don't rush into, you're not so emotional more. It says the true scene, right? It said, are there entire groups of people regulated to the outskirts of your consciousness? Like some people just refuse to deal with, but spirit saying maybe those are the people that you actually do need to look at. Like if you are in a circle right now, Expand your circle, but look at the ones around you closer first. Your first, your inner circle. Older folks often feel like they're no longer seen as individuals, and whole groups of people are often lumped together under the title of their race, ethnicity, and affiliation. Nettle asks, Who has become invisible to you? She reminds you of the gifts you're missing when you stop seeing individually. Spirit so saying, Look closer. That's what's initiating some gifts. It's going to be spiritual gifts. It's going to be personal gifts. Um, it's going to be, look, wealth, gifts you can hold, high dollar item gifts, right? If you just look closer, right? Don't underestimate nobody. Be yourself. Don't act like the people around you just because, uh, <laughs> That's what they like. That's what they do. You stand out in the crowd. It's time to stand out in the crowd. It says, don't forget yourself and you won't forget her sting. Nettle reminds you to see individuality. We are all different and unique. Pay attention. And I believe uh, Spirit wants us to do that personally because it's right, right, going along with what we've been saying. Nurture your gifts. Look at yourself. As soon as you get that spark of ideas, go for it. As soon as you decide what you really want, take time to look at the bigger picture. How do you really want your life to flow? Right? Take time to med meditate, to get some extra rest. It's time to slow down and see where you want your true journey, where you want to be on your true life. Shout out to the Rasta uh, Nation. You know, we are doing the medication, meditation, elevation. I know y'all down with the lifestyle, and it is a lifestyle. It's a journey, right? So we had a transition phase. What's this individuality? This gift, this thing that we need to look for for our self spirit. Who's the ace of swords? Chamomile again. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Hit her with the blink. Hit her with the blink. No, I just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I ain't kidding. Because I like that. The truth is, be confident. Right? The truth is, be confident. Be courageous, right? Be a teacher. Be that entrepreneur. Be sexy. Uh, be be physical. Be secure. Uh, be rest assured that all problems uh, that you can handle, hold on to the fruitfulness of the the idea, right? Nurture it. I love this. With the sword, say your affirmations, right? Know who you are and who you are. And don't be preoccupied by other things. Stand firm. Express yourself. But be thoughtful first. I love that. Be per Like, yo, you got spirit guide, that cat, that white cat right there. Spirit gonna lead you every step of the way. Protection ain't gonna let nothing get to you. Cat go get even a little lizard. They try. We so busy looking for snakes and stuff that can't go run even the little spiders. Every little thing that, every little thing that you can't see. The Queen of Wands got it. Ten of Pentacles. We on our way. Look to the Queen of Pentacles. That's definitely um, business. 
that's money, that's security, that's the one that you give her a coin, she gonna turn it to the 10, look, she done made it overflow. You got the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups in this reading, y'all. I love it. Because with these Aces, you can have that healing, that overflow spirit. I told you people getting money, people getting spiritual gifts, people traveling. There's that marshmallow underlying energy. The first card and the last card is the same marshmallow initiating that stability. A spoonful of sugar, y'all. But it come with some changes. New scenery. New scenery. Are you ready to walk through the gateway of the unknown? That's the way I feel. Are you ready to walk through the gateway of the unknown? <laughs> it's a decision choice you make. Or there's the ace of wars. You got the momentum. Oh, you got the momentum now. Ah, you got the juice. <laughs> and I like that you got the juice. Yes, one last, one last thing to go on, Spirit, to help us bring it all together. Limitless. Didn't I say you got the juice? Didn't I say it? <laughs> Allowing and receiving. Be you, fam. Start fresh. It's still out there for the taking. Live your true life. Live your true journey. Radical acceptance is saying yes to the divine. Until next time. Namaste.